Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about how can we create a custom related list and how can we add the same to a form so that it is visible to the users who are viewing a particular record. So let me just open an incident record. Let's go ahead with the first one in the list. And so this is one of the incident. So as of now, we do not have a related list which could display the problem tickets raised by the same caller. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a new related list. Let me just navigate to the relationships module in the left hand navigation. So the one under system definitions is the one. I'll just go ahead and click on new. So once I click on new, this is the form which is open for me. Uh, let me just give a particular name problems by the same color. Applies to table is the one on which my related list will be visible. For example, in this case, we are trying to make it visible on the incident form. So this will be incident. Query form table is the one from where I'm going to query the record. So I'm trying to display the problem records over here. So I will be querying from the problem table. Now here we can write the code which will help us to retrieve the relevant data. I want to fetch the data from the problem table and I want to display my related list on the incident table. So my current record will be my problem from my problem table and my parent object is from my incident table. So I'm going to do is current dot add query. So on the problem table, we do not have a caller field. If you guys are already aware, if you are not aware, so the name of the field over this opened by who has actually opened that problem. So I will write the name of that particular field over here. And in my parent record, the field name is caller ID, which is from the incident table. So I'm done with the coding part. This is just a very basic related list, which I'm trying to create over here. Now let me just navigate to my incident form now. Probably will have to add that related list over here first. I'll go to related lists and I'll search with problems by the same caller. I'll add it over here. I click on save. So my related list is added over here, but as of now, there are no records. So let us just go ahead and create a record in the problem table, which should be 
by the same column. So we'll enter the same name in the open by with which we were testing our incident record. Problem state open. Test problem for today. It's demo. I'm just going to save it. And if I just navigate back to my incident form, I should be able to see a single record over there in the related list, which is visible now. I could have created a record by clicking on new. That is also one of the scenario. So since the condition which I have mentioned is that those problems will only be visible which are created by the color of the incident. So once we click on new, those things are pre-populated. Like opened by is by default set to the color of the incident record. So this is how we can create custom filtered lists. It can be a very basic one and it can be a very complicated one depending on the requirement. So you guys can let me know if you have any pain points or any uh, questions regarding the same. I can help you with those and who knows, I can create uh, my next video on the same topic. Thanks for watching.